Hey y'all, Chris from Key Farm. So today, we're doing a little bit of golf cart work. So I converted this electric golf cart to gas about a year and a half ago, somewhere in there. And when I first did it, I used a jaw coupler on the input shaft and all I had was a set screw holding it on. And while that never failed, I always thought of it as the weak point. The reason I did it is I wanted to show you how to convert one of these and not need the use of a machine shop. But today is the day that we upgrade. So I took a jaw coupler, the same size that was on it, and the original motor nose, uh, sent them to a buddy at work that everybody needs a guy that can get things done. And this guy, we call him Tank Top, he can get things done. By the way, he builds stuff cutting boards. They're more of a work of art than a cutting board, but if that interests you, there will be a link in the description of the video. So, anyway, Tank Top got my part back to me, and so we're going to upgrade the golf cart with a better coupler system, and while we got the shaft apart, we're going to see how fast we can make a Predator 212 golf cart with the original rear end go. This is an unmodified Predator that turns 3,600 RPMs. Um, right now, I did a speed test the other day. It runs 18 to 20 miles an hour. And what I mean by that is it holds 18. It did bump 20 just for a second, but I don't think that's the norm. So we're dropping down 33% um, less teeth. We're going from 12 teeth to 8 teeth. Yeah, that's a third. A lot going on up here. So, uh, anyway, that should translate to 33% more speed. So, 18 plus 6 be 24. Uh, we should get somewhere between 24 and 26 miles an hour when we're done. But, it's not going to have as much power on the low end. Which means, probably, since this is an off-road golf cart that I use over at the farm, I'll probably go back to the 12 tooth because it has plenty of power that way. But I do want to see how fast a bone stock out of the box Predator 212 can do for this thing. So let's get to work. All right, y'all. So this is going to set somewhere in the neighborhood of right here. So this half of the jaw coupler has to move back where this bearing's setting. And if there's room, the bearing has to move back to here maybe next to it or maybe this bearing has to come out all together i'm gonna take some more stuff apart and we're gonna find out all right, let me show y'all something cool so i i backed off all the set screws there's the input shaft what i like about these pillow block bearings these self-aligning ones is you can take that shaft from there and you can rotate it all the way out there Enough to get the chain off, enough to get the sprocket off. So I got everything apart, and uh, we're going to go back new and see what we got to move. All right. So I got the new piece on there, and it sticks out significantly farther than the old one. So what I'm doing is I'm just assembling this right here. And then I'm going to hold the shaft up. The shaft only needs to come to right there. And I'm going to trim the shaft because it's going to be all the way into the shock. So it looks like I'm going to take about two inches off. And I haven't looked into where the bearing's going to go yet. But first thing we got to do is trim that. All right. All right, y'all. This is pretty much how it's going to have to be. There's no, no room for this bearing over here. The only way to fix that is to remount the engine and move it this way. That's not necessary. What we're going to do is we're going to set this bearing right here, which will essentially take any stress off of this shaft over here. And there's bearings in this case right here, so it's not a problem. Alright, now since this gear is temporary, because I will go back to the bigger gear that has more power, we're just doing this to see how fast we can make a 212 golf cart go. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put a spacer in here. Well, it's actually a, a shaft lock because the first uh, sprocket I put on here when I first built this thing walked. But these set screws are bigger, so I'm not real worried about it. 
But either way, we got room, so we're going to use these uh, collar locks. We're going to put one there. Well, this sprocket is so small, we can't put this one all the way up against there because it touches chain first. So that's where this comes. This is actually a spacer that turns a 5 8 shaft into a 3 quarter shaft. I'm going to pull it apart and put that spacer in there. And then we can push this all the way up against the spacer. So between these two set screws, this set screw, and this set screw, we can put this thing where it needs to be and it won't move. Um, as far as the chain slack, I think instead of moving the motor, I'm just going to make another chain. I got, I got plenty of 40 chain around here for upcoming projects. We're just going to make a second chain. And that's how we're putting it back together. Okay, so I got this thing together. I took it for a test run. I lost both of these set screws. Had them real tight and still lost them. Uh, this one backed off, which allowed this to move back. So, anyway, got the Loctite out. The, uh, the blue Loctite, not the red permanent Loctite. So, uh, I Loctited these. I Loctited this one. I Loctited that little one. And then, instead of pulling it apart and putting a spacer in there, I put two zip ties in there. Now the chain is a little loose, but when the cart gets weight on it, the chain tightens up. And I did take one link out. So. Alright, we're about to make it happen. We had a little issue. Uh, somehow the driver on the torque converter locked up the driver pulley. Um, I'm not really sure sure what happened, but hey, the back part, the part we worked on, stayed together. Yeah, I know it's got zip ties on it. I'll put a spacer in there. Um, so I guess. I'm about to become a uh, Chris from Key Farm Torque Converter Mechanic. One question I get asked a lot is, a Predator 212 enough for a golf cart? Absolutely. Look, you can go with a little bit bigger gear in the back and make this thing go 15 miles an hour and it will pull, well, it'll turn the tires over and that's, you know, it'll pull as much as it weighs. You know, um, or you could go with this setup here and you could get somewhere between 25 and 28 miles an hour. I don't think that 28 was real. I think the satellites got a little confused, but uh, 25, 26 was, was pretty steady. So um, yeah, a Predator 212 is enough for a golf cart. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you'd love God, love people. If you know anything about how to put a torque converter back together, put a comment down below. Hey, thanks for watching.